Hello everyone, I hope you are well. I am Dr. Elham Del Sande, Senior Lecturer in Digital Built Environment at Birmingham City University. I'm also the course leader of Architectural Technology Program. In this series of videos, I'm going to talk about building information modeling and digital project delivery. Today we're going to learn about BIM, or Building Information Modeling, one of the advancements in construction technology that the digital age has brought to us. BIM is not a new idea or concept. It has been with us for many years now. The developments in technology have enabled the construction industry to plan, design, construct and manage more complex and larger scale projects. Every year, more and more professionals in architecture, architectural technology, building surveying, quantity surveying, construction management and property development and planning are implementing BIM. Increasing the efficiency of projects, improving collaboration between different stakeholders and creating a central model that contains all the project information are only some of the added values of implementing BIM. So, what is BIM? BIM is evolution, not revolution. It was developed over many years by various scholars from all over the globe who worked hand in hand with software developers. The first BIM concept that appeared on PCs was in 1984. Two years later, in 1986, Robert Eich introduced the term building modeling for the first time. Building performance data appeared on early BIM applications in 1993. The golden years of BIM development were from late 1990s to early 2000s. In 2004, collaboration on central models appeared on BIM applications. The advancements of BIM accelerated considerably from that point and in 2008, more cutting-edge technologies such as parametric modeling and laser scanning were incorporated into BIM applications. After 2015, different governments made amendments to the existing construction regulations to improve the incorporation of BIM process. For example, in 2016, use of BIM process in funded projects became mandatory in the UK. In 2020, Germany made it compulsory for transportation projects to use the BIM process. While there are different definitions of BIM, it is a process that improves collaboration between different stakeholders throughout building's life cycle. BIM is a process of working together to advance the efficiency of construction projects. The most important element of a BIM process is a BIM model that contains all building information. So here are two important questions. What can we do with a building model? And what building information can be integrated into a digital model? The answer to both questions is everything. A BIM model includes a detailed 3D model with all architectural and structural elements, mechanical and electrical systems, spaces, details, schedules, and all sorts of documentations. It can easily calculate cost estimation, material quantities, energy performance, etc. Is BIM only useful for large and complex projects? Absolutely not. Implementing BIM 
is highly beneficial for different types of projects with various functions and scales. Is BIM useful for small-scale projects? Yes, and here are some more detailed answers to these questions. Scan to BIM for real-time surveying and incorporation of site features create a huge potential to design and construct spaces that are perfectly integrated with various site-specific conditions. Implementing BIM will also increase project precision and accuracy less errors and mistakes. It will also improve the coordination between different disciplines involved in a project, which will eventually result in minimizing time and cost of the project. Using BIM, we can have planned overlaps between different stages of the project which results in reducing the project time and cost. Let's discuss some of the many issues the construction industry was facing before the implementation of BIM. Incompatible IT systems, lots of problems around file sharing and different file formats. Extensive use of paper, email overload as more conversations were required among different stakeholders, low data security and unclear modern data ownership, low transparency of information flow, loss of revision documents, limited project records, and finally, there was no central model containing all project information. Using one system of digital models, increases the synchronization between various documents produced by different professionals involved in a project. BIM is the process of designing, constructing and managing a building or infrastructure collaboratively using advanced link digital models. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful and informative. In the next series of videos, I will explain BIM capabilities in more details, its various dimensions and applications. Take care.